Hey guys, Easy here with another replay commentary on Earth Spirit. So, uh, I played this game about three days ago. It was pretty good. We had a lot of fun, and most importantly, that I had a really good early game here. I ganked mid a lot. I did a lot of things on the map very effectively, and I just want to show you guys what I did wrong, what I did right in the early game. So I don't think I'll be talking about much of the mid game. I'll only be focusing on the early game um, from now on. So uh, let's just get into it. I'm playing with a party of five. Uh, all of us are friends. We've been playing for quite some time now and we've been on pretty good win streak so far. Um, we have Seven, Lion, Ember at mid and me and Darkseer at bottom. So in the olden days, I just wanna like, I don't know why, but I just wanna, I just wanna uh, get a hit of nostalgia a bit, because back in the day, Darkseer and Earth Spirit were kind of no notorious for being a pretty good combo with Vacuum and Boulder Smash Stun. But now that Boulder Smash doesn't stun anymore, it's not as a good as a, of a combo. Uh, but but the lane here, uh, me and me and Dark Seer is pretty good actually. We we have Iron Shell, have a really good way of getting on top of them. But most importantly, my I can actually leave the lane pretty early. Uh, that all actually doesn't matter still because I can leave the lane very early because on this Juggernaut, the reason why we picked Dark Seer because this Juggernaut has no uh, no way in killing this Dark Seer in the early game with slow and and with slow and slow and blade fury so really good dark seer pick i think uh, in this game and lets me also roam around so i don't really have to babysit uh, this dark seer that much as well and we'll see that it's a pretty good pretty good lane for us uh, right here i'm gonna put down my sentry i actually like go behind the tower right here uh, let's see what the path i took Ah, uh, okay. So usually what I do is, when I want to place a sentry, I want to walk downwards here and then towards into the jungle to place that pretty good sentry. But right here I realize that, okay, so Enchantress is way down there. So all I can do is just maybe peek up this hill, see if Jug is there, right? And thankfully he wasn't. And right here I just want to like, be really careful not to show, show vision uh, with their outpost here. I don't think they see me here, so that's good. I just want to put the sentry right at the edge here. It's pretty good. Um, one sec. So this edge sentry is pretty cool because what the what it does is that not only it blocks the camp, but because it's so far on the edge. Can I? Yeah, I can. One sec. Oh, one second. So this edge sentry, because it's so far um, on the edge, is really hard to deward because, as I put it right here. If they put a sentry here, they'll get all this spot, but they will just barely miss this edge sentry. The only way they can deward here is if they put the ward over here. But if, even if they put the ward over here, they miss they miss vision up top here because this boundary has increased um, this patch. So it's a really easy to block this camp most of the time, and sometimes the enemies won't even realize that this place is blocked. Another really good place actually put the sentry. It's actually inside here, inside these trees. Even though they have true sight because of this uh, outpost, uh, sometimes you know supports rarely check the the that area because they don't really realize that you can block it there sometimes. So right here, we're both level one. These two have a really good uh, kill potential with slow and blade fury. So we just we just let them have the rune basically, and we do get three runes in the end because of lion stun. We won't be killing top either. Um, Bara and Ogre are way too tanky, so I also don't, don't, you know, go top to try get first blood because there's no way we're killing a Bara or Ogre at level one. So yeah, all right here, of course, just block the creeps a bit, iron shell the creeps as well, and we'll just try to get as much damage as I'll uh, just clear this wave as fast as possible to get my level two, uh, really quickly. Then I can start roaming mid. So right here, yep. Uh, I think this is really cool right here. I kind of realized that these two creeps are going towards out his their enchantress. So then I just usually I save this queue for a 
to secure the range creep, but because we kind of already secured the range creep just now, and there's nothing really else to secure up here, uh, what I do is just I put myself in a position to hit the jug and the enchantress with my Q, slow down the enchantress a little bit so she keeps taking more and more damage from these iron shells, and we get her to quarter health, which actually really helps us in the game. And I think at level two here, she's forced to heal to to grab her heal instead of her dominate ability. Oh sorry, she does have a dominate. What's her other skill? Oh yeah, yeah, her, her slow. She doesn't grab her slow at level two because she's too low, and she tries and she actually grabs her heal instead, uh, further delaying the kill potential in this lane. Enchant. That's the that's the slow plus dominate ability. So having a pretty good game, getting good levels. Uh, usually, I think in high level, high level pubs, uh, you earth spirit, you take roll and then you just go mid. But in my playstyle, I, I like to stay at bottom, get my level 2, and then leave the lane once the lane is pushing towards my Dark Seer. Uh, that's why I have the sentry uh, back here, because uh, once I have that sentry back here and they don't deward it like before 3 minutes, this their creep wave will always be you know, on our side of the map, uh, for sure. The only thing Dark Seer has to do is contest the pull camp on the side here, which you can easily do. And right here, I see the creeps already going on Juggernaut. So I just kick the boulder on Juggernaut, try to get him to... Sorry, uh, what I'm trying to say. So right here, um, what's really... Well, when you should use your Q in the lane at level 1, right? So right here, the creeps are going on Juggernaut. This creep right here. Let me just slow it down. This creep right here and this creep right here. They're both going on Juggernaut. So what I'm going to do is like... Maximize the damage that these two creeps are dealing to that Juggernaut. And right here, he I don't know why, but he kind of just blade freeze me. Uh, there was no kill potential. I was full health, and she and our ench the enchantress didn't have slow yet, so I just walked out of this. And with my salve right here, yep, I just go back to full uh, instantly, and I just continue laning well, with no with no problems. Uh, another good time to Q was probably there. There were four creeps on the juggernaut. Just slow him down, and we just run him down while four creeps chase him. It was really good as well. Let me just see that. Let's just see that again. Uh, I think my Q was on cooldown. If it was on cooldown, it would have definitely... Yeah, so I'm 11 seconds on cooldown, and 4 creeps hitting the Juggernaut right here. Uh, this range creep dies, but yeah, basically 4 creeps were hitting the Juggernaut. If I queued him right there, I would have... We'd have 3 creeps on our side, and I have the... Um, surged up Darkseer running him down with my slow as well. So he'd have so much damage on the Juggernaut, and he might have to... Expend a lot of his regen just to continue laning. Well, I do get a level 2 and we do go on him. Okay, this is something I forgot. So, uh, I realized that, okay, uh, I just hit level 2 right here. And I see 4 creeps going on Juggernaut. Uh, I wish, I think I haven't skilled yet. Let's see, let me slow down. Oh, see my creep. Yeah, I haven't skilled my ability yet. So right here, I'll skill my ability. I should have done it way sooner so I can ex immediately go on the Juggernaut. Uh, I don't have my... Sec I don't have any hotkeys to skill abilities like I think it's control W right by default but I, I don't really use it I should maybe start using it um, soon because I because of that late skill uh, we could have like went on the juggernaut a lot earlier when and because he just used his butt battle fury on me just now he doesn't have I'm uh, sorry he doesn't have blade fury on uh, during this time so we can e easily go on him while these crypts were hitting him so next time use my control W to to scale up my rolling bolter uh, really quickly so right here, uh, I see him actually running away. Uh, he's not going to be moving here because I know he's going to go through these trees and go towards his tower to get these creeps. There's no way he's going to walk this way, right? So I already I'm already preemptively targeting that that pocket in the in the trees right here. And we actually do get him very easily. Boop. Easy hit. And we get so much damage on him. I'm even blocking him right here. He has to move around this tree. And my dark shield actually gives me the the iron shell buff but you know he wasn't he wasn't blocked enough to to actually get a really good uh, to get a kill on him but that's okay uh, here oh yeah so now I'll salve up right after that I go on jug so I've got my level 2 what to do right here you'll see me pause and I'm actually trying to buy items you see my mouse I'm buying my tangos clarities I think these these should all have been queued up before the match because I already know what I was going to do right Immediately when I get my level two, I'm gonna ferry out my my. What do I what do I ferry out actually? Let me see. 
Because immediately after that kill, I mean, sorry, immediately after getting level 2, I know I'm going to get a bit more regen, maybe get 2 clarities, buy all the smokes immediately, uh, if I have the money, and then buy one observer reward. So maybe just place around to get some vision of mid, if possible, even behind the tower. So right here, I already see my mid actually going on the storm. And really funny that I actually, for for a split second here, I was like, wait, are we raiding or dire? Because my, my embers on the other side of the map, right? So they, they go on each other, it's pretty, pretty brutal. And right here, kind of make a mistake. My ember actually goes in, I don't think he should have gone in, he should have like backed up a little bit. Because I was on the way. And right here I kind of missed my roll, I should have rolled on top of him, I didn't realize he was going to auto attack and not move. So I miss him, but actually we do still get a funny kill here. There's three people here, get stunned up, and I just finished the kill. Uh, make sure you don't hit that <laughs> that storm spirit clone. I almost actually walked forwards there. Now I ping it out. See, good thing I didn't walk to to mid that way. So yep, uh, kind of saved myself, and now I'm just going back to base. So here actually I do a pretty costly error, um, actually. So right here, 248. I'm actually thinking of rolling towards this camp and then getting a stack off, but I was actually f afraid of dying to the to the Ancient creeps. Uh, however, dying is actually not not bad, especially this early in the game, right? They only the enemies only get like what 40 gold each, maybe that's like half a bounty rune, uh, and I get full health and mana immediately. I'm not sure what's the neutral creep bounty. Do they even get any gold at all? I don't think they get any gold, right? Now, yeah, they don't get any gold if I if I kill myself to creeps. I gotta look that up. Maybe I'll look that up right now. One sec, guys. You know what, uh, I'll look that up uh, after this video and then I'll put it in the description what happens when you kill yourself to uh, suicide by neutrals. So basically uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, right here, right, right here after this kill, I definitely should have, even if I couldn't stack, I definitely should have just killed myself to the, to the creeps uh, somehow and then just, you know, be at base, um, respawn in like what, 5 seconds. And then just TP mid, which I do later. So yeah, uh, pretty big inefficiency by me by not suiciding to neutrals. But yeah, I just roll back to base, which is also very important. Roll back to base when you have the mana for it. So yeah. Um, one sec. So let's just see my my Ember skill build as well for this game that we kind of pre-meditated, pre pre-planned before going to this game. Uh, we knew we had, we had the storm pick, so uh, what Ember did was he actually maxing out searing chains here because he can get really close to the storm pretty easily. Storm has little range, little range and be with me like rolling in every single time, he can really secure the secure very easy um, chains on him so the storm can't run away. And we'll see this throughout the whole game. Uh, uh, throughout, throughout the whole other game, should I, say, I should say. So back to play perspective. Um, I'm healing up, and then I smoke immediately, and I TP to this, behind this tower, right? And the storm can't see me, actually, let's just slow that down. So I actually smoke up in their base, see my smoke here, it becomes one. And I t immediately TP, slow it down. So right here, the storm is really far forward, uh, I don't know why, I guess he doesn't know that I'm here again. And I just walk in front. Right here, I accidentally break my smoke, but the storm is already too far forward. I'm definitely gonna hit the roll on him right here. So I actually skilled my silence is really good. So then these two seconds, Storm can't put any remnants down. I silence him immediately. He can't do anything, and yeah, another easy kill. Uh, we do get a shared bounty, unfortunately. We didn't get all the money on our Ember Spirit, but that's okay. Another 18 seconds. He another one creep wave that Storm will miss because he he died there. So let's continue. Uh, I've done all I can mid. You know, Storm's gonna be a bit. A bit um he's gonna be a little bit more scared from now on. Oh one sec, let me just see my smoke, my first smoke. Or at least not my first smoke, my, my first gank on this storm. Oh okay, I see. So my first gank on this storm, what I'm trying to see is that um they actually did they didn't have vision of me. Their their sentry uh sorry. This is the enemies, right? No, this is our ward. 
So this is their ward. Oh, they don't have ward yet. One sec. Because they, ha they had a ward up on this high ground. So I think the storm actually dies. And buys a ward. No? Oh, the ward is here, not on the high ground. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought this ward was up here on the map. So yeah, they, my, my smoke actually was really good because uh, he didn't see me coming because of... I was... I was Sorry, not my smoke. Actually, my, I smoked not back here. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let's just continue. Because I, I didn't smoke when I was coming for the first gank, right? Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I didn't have my smoke yet. I was just walking. Which is kind of not the best, but... You know, my ember was dying, so I didn't even need my smoke at this point. Yeah. I, I think usually I wait for my smoke to come first. Or I go get my smoke. But because... Yeah, because... Ember was already dying here. I just decided to just immediately go towards towards Ember without waiting for any smokes. And we do get the kill, but well, oh, Ember's life. Yeah. Okay. So they do have a ward up here, and I think after this ward expires, they'll put a ward up here. Uh, nothing. Nothing is too important. So let's just continue. I go back to base, I TP, we get another kill, that's really good. And I just want to walk back to bottom because, well, Storm's dead. I can come back later. What what's, what my plan is right now is actually, I realized that they actually dewarded my ward, which was uh, around here, I think. Yeah. So like I said, they can actually, de if they if they put the ward here, then I know they're, and sorry, if they dewarded this, that means for sure the ward is on the bottom side. And what I can do because of that is, I can put a ward here actually, which is really good. Out of this vision, out of this sentry ward vision, and it still blocks the camp for my dark seer, right? And they'll have no idea where this ward is for sure, you know. So yeah, really good um, tip, I guess, uh, for for blocking this camp is. One sec, yeah. So put the ward here. Uh, if they de ward, probably their sentry is like probably here or here. So you can put another ward over here to de ward their ward, and actually right here. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I think I'm. Oh yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm actually just block, like pretending to block the camp here to see if, just in case Enchantress comes over, right? So if, for you guys who don't know what I'm just, why I'm just standing still here, it's four minutes. I'm just standing here trying to wait for this Enchantress to come over to see that I've blocked the camp, you know, so she doesn't kind of expect as a observer ward here because observer wards are really good, right? I don't want them to to deward this. I want them. I want this to stay up the whole game if possible to give us vision. Uh, to see if anyone's ganking the darts here, especially Storm, because only Storm can kill darts here at this stage of the game with his pull. So what I do, uh, actually, I gave my a salve. I think did I give a salve to my man? Oh, I did. I gave a tango. I didn't give a tango. I didn't do anything. Oh, okay. Never mind. I didn't salve him out. I didn't tango him either. Uh, what I what I feel like I should have done at least is um, what I'm actually doing here is I'm actually besides I'm um, putting this word. What I'm actually doing is also, I'm, I'm actually showing in the Selene. So now the storm thinks that okay, Earth Spirit is finally bottom. I don't need to worry about him, right? Kind of this false sense of security by showing for a split second at bottom. But then I immediately go back to top. And you can see here. Uh, yeah. Oh, this word is still there. Okay. So yeah, false sense of security. Um, I should have actually given a tango to my darts here at least, right? I'm all the way down here. I have four tangos, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I have four tangos in my backpack, and I actually do put put my tangos into my into my main pack, but I don't even give him to any tangos. He already has two anyways, right? But I don't know. Maybe I could have been nice and give him one extra one just in case he needed it. So yeah. Uh, I really should put my ring of protection around here, you know, for some reason I'm not putting it at all. And right here I'm thinking of two things that I could do. I could either... I could either... Um, excuse me. I could either roll here and try to get this bounty rune up top. Or I could try to kill the mid again. And I think what I do is I actually do kill mid again. Because I feel like they did, don't have any words here actually. I don't even smoke up because... I did kill the storm here, so that kind of tells me that they don't have any wards here. Because if they had a ward here, that means he would see me from all the way here, and he wouldn't be chasing the ember all the way till till the of this river, right? So, by, based on my, my instincts, probably they don't have a ward here. 
I do have the smoke. I don't know why I don't actually pop it. Um, but I think I think it was a it was a high risk, high high reward decision not to smoke there, right? Because I already had the information that they don't have a ward here, most likely. So yeah, I hope I put my. Oh, I do smoke. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Why did I smoke? <laughs> um, dumb. Okay, sorry guys. I think I thought I didn't smoke. What I should have done is I should have smoked way back here, or not maybe here. Maybe you can see the smoke particles. Maybe I should smoke. Not even here then. Then over here, I should smoke way over here. But then they have a ward over here. Maybe I should go into my own base, smoke up here, and then walk behind like this. But what I actually do is I kind of smoke behind their tower. I think I'm also like kind of feeling out. I realize that I can't walking. Storm's not actually um, reacting to me walking all the way here. Um, I can I can smoke up. Oh sorry, I can just roll over here without even smoking and just get this bounty rune. Or I can smoke and just kind of walk even closer towards him, which I actually do. And with this, with this ward, he's supposed to see me, right? But with my smoke, I kind of actually... Oh, am I paused? Yeah, I'm paused. So yeah, with this with this smoke, they, he doesn't even see me from behind. So again, my ember getting a really good really good root on him under the tower. And this is just a free kill basically, he's not even level 6 yet. And another shared bounty kill, unfortunately. Well, it gives me money, right? I'm still, I still don't have my ring of protection in my bag, I should really put it in my bag here. And I actually clean out the bounty runes. Uh, most of them, I think. Sadly, my lion dies. Couldn't do anything about that. And now I finally put my ring of protection. So, most definitely, look at your bag, right? How uh, easy you're. You're kind of dumb. <laughs> why? Why don't you have this ring of protection in your bag? So, uh, five minutes in, we. I actually saw just now that storm was actually level. Sorry, level five. Right. That's why we like really. We we went on him immediately before he got his level six. Yeah, he's he's really low. On levels. So uh, another thing I want to tell you guys, uh, kind of uh, extensual plays of a roamer. Once the first night time, more than likely all their wards are have expired. So you can see here. Uh, maybe you can't see there yet. One sec. I'm going to slow it down. If you can see here, this ward has uh, doesn't even have the buff. Oh, it actually just died. There, there. See, five thirty seconds. This ward dies, and even their ward over here died as well. So as a roamer, you should know that. Wards only last, I think five minutes, right? Yeah, should be five minutes, and and by five minutes, uh, all their wards are dead unless he, unless Storm brings a, a new one, to mid, right? Uh, before that, that ward expired, but more likely than not. So I know for a fact not only that the wards have expired, but it's nighttime and it's dark. Storm does not have, you know vision across i can walk i can stood i could have stood, stood here maybe and the storm still couldn't see me let's see let's see that uh let's see perspective of storm oh, that's not storm that's 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 so storm actually do does buy a ward which is really good for him but yeah right here when those creep dies yeah see if i i could even stand here and the storm wouldn't have seen me see all the way there i have so much initiative we, we have, as Earth Spirits, have so much initiation range that at night is the deadliest time for us. So I know this storm does not have level 6, 100%, because we just killed him mid. And I just roll him on him again. Uh, he's here, I can mid player. Yeah, if he wants to play, no worries, I'll tell him that we'll play in a bit. So yeah, another really good kill. That's probably the a game losing kill right there, because he's still level 5. And then this whole after the after this rotation from the enchantress, my darcy has an even safer time at bottom. Uh, Storm actually retreats into the jungle to find his level six because I'm roaming so hard, and my my ember has probably one of the best games um, he's played in a while, right? Six hundred gold in, yeah. He's gonna get his treads and then continue farming. I think his death so and actually an ag ag ags actually an agnim scepter, which is really good, I guess. Uh, so yeah. Right here, I actually walk back to mid. What do I actually do? I think I do a few, a few plays uh, after this. Oh yeah, I do just get the runes. So luckily that rune is still there. Chances then go grab it. This rune is gone. I should have checked. Actually, I did check. Uh, I just assumed that it was gone. Oh, I think Darkseer took it, right? Let me just confirm who took that rune. 
because I want to see was it my mistake? Oh yeah, Darcy did take it. That's good. Yeah, we, we got three runes. So yeah, I think I did realize that Darcy took that rune. Already. That's why I didn't check. Oh, because the map doesn't show it, right? So I knew someone on our team has checked. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, um, I'm sure everyone knows this if you're playing Earth Spirit, right? But if the rune isn't on your map, that means one, it's either someone has taken it, or two, it's spawned but no one has seen it on the map yet. As in, no one has activated the fog. And it might be there, might not be there. So, because the rune is not there, that means that definitely someone has taken it. So let's continue. Uh, I walk water again for that. I think I want to kind of kill the jug before he gets his level 6. I do have my silence. And right here, I do want to initiate with a stomp. Uh, sorry, a, a roll, a, a, a kick. But if we all get silenced right here. And right here, what I want to do is I want to silence him. I want to silence him right here, but oh, he actually blade fewers immediately when I silence him to get these creeps. So kind of, kind of not enough heads head heads up play by me, All right? Uh, let me just move this a bit to remove that. Yeah, okay. So let's just see this again. Um, I want to kill Juggernaut next because I have my level, I have my silence, and he doesn't have his level six yet, and he's kind of half low, right? Me and Darcy probably can kill him with. Just chasing him down with two iron shells. And at the very least, if I don't kill this juggernaut, what happens what will happen is this ogre or this spirit breaker will come down bottom. Probably not spirit breaker because he's pretty low. But maybe this ogre he doesn't even have TP ready. I don't know. These guys. But yeah, um if it was in a good game, <laughs> these people would have their TP ready to to help out this jug before he gets ganked. And I know that enchantress can't come. Or maybe she could. She has TP still. I thought she TP bottom, uh, to mid. Uh, I know for a fact that, you know, I just want someone to come bottom to free up other lanes. Because Darkseer shouldn't be one-on-one -on -one against this Jug, right? You should put as many heroes at bottom to handle this Darkseer. And by doing that, I should have to, I need to put as much pressure on this Juggernaut so that um, more people come bottom and other lanes will be more free. So right here, uh, pretty unfortunate. We, this centaur gets a 3-man stomp, 3-man ravage on us, and right here I do want to silence him and just roll on him to start the kill. He's quarter health. If I got that silence off and that roll off, what would probably happen is that we, he, 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 you know, there's two-second window that he can't blade fury because of my silence, two seconds, and it will just like right-click him down and probably get him to one last hit, and then I probably will need to um, roll him one last time. So yeah, uh, really good play to just try to get this juggernaut kill. I do another kind of good play but it doesn't work out. I have this iron shell up, right? And I want to roll on him because he actually has his healing ward here. And I'll roll on him right here. And I'll, I'll connect right there. Kind of big range now. And I want to actually hit this hit this this stupid um, healing ward but because he kind of microed it really well. He moved it into the trees. He knew that I was going to get it. Yeah, let's look at that. Good micro. Uh, I had my Dark Seer save me with the with this surge before Juggernaut got his level six, and I knew that play was relative, relatively safe because one sec. Oh, I knew that play was relatively safe. Uh, safe. I wouldn't risk of dying even though I'm even though I'm rolling to tower because ah, it's so slow. Because I know Juggernaut doesn't have level six yet. See, he's still level five. And I know we have so many creeps, so even if he does get level 6 on this creep, right? Let's say he got level 6 there. Yeah, uh, the damage will be shared between this creep and probably even my this guy over here, right? So very unfortunate. Couldn't get the healing ward. And Darcy saves me, <laughs> kind of. Even though I did it, actually really didn't need it to be honest. So yeah. Um pressured bottom. Now that they think I'm bottom with this juggernaut. I kind of just walk mid right here. I wish I actually bought more. Oh, I thought he dies. Oh, that's sad. He shouldn't have died. That's fine. Uh, I should have bought this one smoke of the seat here because they already started planning a ward up here. Which is something in the early game you gotta kind of figure out because once you've come from bottom three times to kill the mid, they're probably gonna put a ward up here, right? And same goes like if you were laning top, uh, if you come mid, three times and successfully kill their mid hero, they're probably gonna put a ward here, you know, or even like a ward 
Maybe even up here, maybe? Not that good. Yeah, here is better. You can see that's better. But yeah. Uh, know that. Yeah. Uh, note to myself as well that. Yeah, they're picking me out as well, right? Because I walked under this ward. So know that once y they've. I'm sorry. Once they've. Once you've successfully ganked, they're gonna put more precautions every single time. And I think I actually do this. Yeah, I realize that they do have a ward here. Right? I think that's probably me saying that they have a ward there. Uh, but I still try to find this kill any uh, regardless. Cause yeah, we're, we're really strong here. Level seven on my my ember. Oh, and we do actually get the kill. Oh my god. Kaboom! Oh, no, we don't. We almost get the kill. Right there. So let's see that again. So yeah, even though they do have a ward here, on my my embers really good heads up play with the shackle with the flip slide into into shackle. Uh, I actually do give a mango here if you realize if you can see. I actually give my mango. Let me just play perspective this this perspective this shit. So I'm rolling in. Really good shackle, and actually, I keep silence immediately, which I don't know if I should have done. I was afraid that the the root, oh, sorry, I wouldn't be able to come before he, before he fall anything away. But you can actually do that. You can silence them while you're rolling, which I do. And right here, yep, storm. It manages to zip because I stacked my disables actually. So we do have one more slide to to finish off the storm, and just one more thing on the show. Uh, I roll in, I do the silence, and actually right here, if you see my inventory, I have I have two mangoes, and I see my my ember has really low mana. I'm actually afraid that he doesn't have enough points, sorry, enough mana points, yeah, to 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 do one more slide. So I actually give him one mango, but actually in reality he did have one more mango, uh, one more one enough mana. He just he just was waiting for the cooldown. So that's something really good to do. Check your allies' mana. If you have mangoes, you can share them um, immediately, and you can you can share the mana and actually get a kill because you share the mana at the perfect time. So right here, really good play again by my Ember. Actually, he goes back in for the, and you know I guess tries to go back in for this kill. But what actually happens, even though he doesn't have any mana, right? Because he knows he's not gonna die. But what he actually successfully did was like bring um, their their ogre to mid, right here. And right here we secure the haste rune. They should have come, came over here and denied this haste rune from my ember, but they didn't do that. We got it instead. And now my ember has a haste, and I think I'm just gonna walk top, because there's too many heroes mid to gank. And this this guy's all alone at top, at, up at top. So I'm buying some stuff, and I look at the BS. I want to see if I can roll behind the tower. That's a bit too dangerous, right? Uh, unfortunately, they do have a ward here, uh, and they can see me very clearly. But I don't know why this spirit breaker, he still decides to, to show in the lane even though he saw me in in my, in our own jungle. So right here, I was thinking to initiate. I kind of miss. You just get the silence, and I just I just secure the kill. Pretty simple stuff. Um, again, I should have bought the that that one that one smoke because this. This shouldn't have have this kill shouldn't have happened. Actually, this is a really free kill. They had vision of me, right? And I think this what what Spirit Breaker was thinking that oh he's here, but even if he's here, I can just I can just charge away. No, no you can't. We have not only we have two stuns, but I leveled up my silence. Uh, right? I have I have one point of silence. That's two seconds. That's at least like six right clicks, right? <laughs> uh, from all of us, maybe maybe like five. But yeah. There's no way he's getting out. So right here, well, we secure the runes again. I just see this rune, we get this rune, we get that rune, and we probably get this rune as well. We fuse up. So I think that's it for the early game. Um, what a mate. What's another thing amazing about this early game? I think what I do mid is what happened. Why I'm standing at mid. Oh, I actually roll after that kill. So after that kill on, on Spirit Breaker, um, I see that okay, we, we can get the rune. Uh, I actually block this camp as well, you know, 
Storm can't farm these small camps really easily, so I just block these small camps so that Storm can like get a uh, get an easy uh, easy gold here. And another thing is that because I was walking up top, maybe they extra fortified mid with another ward somewhere here, right? So I just will essentially will try to catch one ward and at the same time block their camp. So right here, um, I actually try to get this rune. Unfortunately, I don't think I get it because I realize that Bara is going to be charging me. And yeah, immediately I see Bara coming in and I just roll away. He can't catch me. So yep. We continue. Uh, and I think that's it. Oh, right here is the final play that I did. Very, very small. Very small play. Because you're roaming, you have... Uh, you know, you get less XP because you're never in lane, right? But what happened here was that I roamed, I got like 5 kills in the last 10 minutes. Uh, at least assisted in 5, in five kills. That, uh, 4 kills actually there. See, I assisted in 4 kills, I think. Should be 5, right? I'm not sure. I think it was 5 kills. Because uh, I killed the bar, I killed the Barra top, yeah. So I, I assisted in five kills in this whole game, and I'm actually level five, and almost at level six. So right here, I I'm thinking that okay, um, what's my plan? Get the runes as soon as possible, and then, oh, I actually we oh, sorry, yeah, I level because at ten minutes you get the the outpost XP. So right here, what was my plan actually? My plan was to try to get level 6 as soon as possible, right? I actually forgot about the outpost, but my plan was to get level 6 as soon as possible. I get by, and what I was going to do is I was going to get this bounty room really quickly, and I was going to like, go back bottom to try to get this creep wave, and just kind of like, you know, soak the XP uh, with this dart seer, just a little bit, because, you know, well, yeah, because I was just get my level 6, but what had to happening was that I get this rune, uh, I realize that, oh shit, we get the outpost XP. Uh, and now I'm level 6, and what, what happens because I'm level 6, at 10 minutes, my lion gets the my lion gets the tome. So right here, I think I tell my lion that, hey, you can buy the tome, actually, because I don't need it. I actually get level 6 before you, you know? Because uh, this, is, this is, like, probably perfect. Not only that both supports get level 6 by 10 minutes, but we kind of kind of own their 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 game here um right here they actually have a sentry here but and this invis play doesn't work and he does walk into the <laughs> he does walk into true side vision but yeah so that's that's the thing i just want to say right if you get level six before 10 minutes you're having the, probably the one of the best games the best early games at a spirit because you can you can give the tome up to even maybe even mid you know maybe mid isn't if mid is well, even not mid, because mid is probably doing really well if you're doing really well, right? But you can give it to the other support, uh, and we both can get level 6 at 10 minutes, so that's really good. Yeah, does Lion even use his ult yet? I think he will buy the tome right here, and then he'll use his ult later. But yeah, very early level 6, and right here we actually, you know, we just kind of stomped them. We, I think we won this, win this fight. Uh, what happens, like, you know, this whole game, let's just skip over. I think, yeah, we start owning them. Really well. Let's see. Uh, do we die here? I think we just run at them constantly. Um, after the after the laning stage breaks down. In 1016. Oh, I can't find any fights. I'm stunned for some reason. <laughs> uh, kill Bara somehow. Probably was a solo kill from Ember. Oh no, it's, it's a team guy. Oh, this is a really cool play, I think I do. Yeah, 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 this is fun. I tell my lion to stun this guy, actually. See my ping? Is this my ping? Yeah, this is my ping. I'm, I'm, I'm brown. Brown color guy. That's kind of weird to say. No, no racial... Um, race, I hope there's no racial sensitivity issues there. Saying that I'm the brown color guy, but... I, I am the brown color guy pinging this guy to stun this guy and not this guy, right? So I, I tell him to stun this guy because what I'm going to do is... Something really cool. I roll onto this guy. And I realized that we can't right click this guy down. We gotta put, we gotta throw as many magic dam, as much magic damage onto this guy, right? So what I do is instead of just slowing him, I actually kick him towards my team, and we just absolutely wreck this fool. <laughs> uh, don't cancel your auto, auto attacks. Maybe. So yeah, we just, yeah, you know, roll them down, and then we just secure the kill there. Uh, unfortunately, also Ben dies, but we do get, you know. 
pretty good three. They're off lane, they're mid end, they're support enchantress. Uh, we do this uh, tower for that, but you know, that's that's Zoda. You, you you make trades. Oh, we all die here somehow. I get out of line. And I think that's it. So all in all, in the early game, we do win in the end. Um, pretty heavy handedly, 51-18. We just farm their their base. But all uh, all in all, a little summary is that the early game can go really well, right? Get your level two soon. Um, if you can, if you if you want, you don't even need your level two. You can you can roll at level one into mid and you know harass him slash try to get a kill without level two. But it's really easy to get kills at level two, right? So what you do is you get your level two really quickly, buy your smokes, get set up kills at mid um, before the game as well. Um, premeditate, I guess. Tell your Emmer spirit what to skill uh, to get easy kills. So I tell him to you know get some points in and root so we can kill him easily and yeah that's actually it um really good really good rotations it's fine to show in lane sometimes you don't have to be like a super spy and i don't know you don't have to like oh what happened i think i'm watching the game again yeah you don't have to like be super sneaky and be in the fog 24 7 for the first for the first um, 10 minutes of the game, like no one can see me at all. I will never let anyone see me in the game. Nah, no, it's fine. You can show the, you can show in mid. Yeah, sorry, you can show it in bottom, and TP mid. Try to get kills, you know. Uh, show in the lane. Uh, kind of pretend that you're trying to set up kills here be, and or something, and then, and then yeah, and then go and then just keep going mid and rinse and repeat. Show show mid. Um, yeah, sorry, show bottom, go mid, show, show top, mid, then go mid. Um, and sometimes you go back to base, TP, come to the smoke, go mid. And I think finally the most important thing uh, was I think this kill, the, the game losing kill that I, that I mentioned. Uh, the game losing kill on the storm thing right here. Yeah, he's all fine. Or I think we just killed him. One more. Yeah, there. So right here, very important thing is that recognize what level your your mid your opponent mid is because once he hits level six it's infinitely hard to kill the storm right so right here yeah i think this was the best kill of the game right here immediately no chance so so clean you even waste the t whose tp was that i didn't even realized someone tp he just died right he's not level six ogre tp that's why he didn't have tp for bottom <laughs> really really good uh, you know recognize what level your opponent mid is and make sure your your rotations match you know perfectly i guess the level that they need to be to in order to ensure the kill and other than that yeah uh of course last thing you can kill yourself to neutrals to and in the early game to get back to base sooner and i think that's it Yeah, that's it. Uh, so thanks, guys. Uh, really, really fun game. Really good early game from uh, from from this game as a spirit. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, see ya.